It's that primordial, extrasensory, intuitive side of ourselves, stripped of all the numbing layers of the trappings of modern life, that Lawrence recognised in the last remnants of Stone Age man on this continent, the sand bushman. I do uh, think certainly that the bushman personifies an element which is in every human being, in every race in the world, which is the spontaneous, the immediate, the intuitive, the instinctive. But he also is a person who is uh, highly conscious in his own way and is enriched by it. If any man had extrasensory powers, how cool and Tom Bella had. He and I took over 3,000 people out into the wilderness together and there's no one who ever went with him that came out of that unimpressed. I mean, his, his, his vision, his ability to see, to hear, I mean, he would be fast asleep and he would wake up and he'd say, you know, there's a lion just out there. My God, you look in there, sure enough, a lion had just gone by. Makubu also had an uncanny ability to mimic the animals he came into contact with in his work. <laughs> He was the teacher, the pathfinder. It was a very profound relationship. We came from entirely different cultures. He healed me too, make no error. He had a wonderful way of putting you right, putting you at right with the world. Ian recognised that Makubu had Bushman heritage and like the Bushman had great respect for nature and acknowledged its spirit. Look, we had to kill animals. We had to hunt in our time in the parks and they still do it, will continue to do it. It's part of the way. But he never ever lifted a gun to shoot something. Did he not first greet the spirit? There was the connection between him and the earth. He was a better man than I was. I thank him every morning, I thank him every evening. This man, who had a deep intuitive connection with nature, has passed on, and with him a wealth of knowledge about the African bush, just as with the demise of the sand bushman who recognised himself as an integral part of the natural world, a valuable legacy has been lost, and we are the poorer for it. All this impoverishment of nature, this attack of nature, this uh, imperil Ling, the way we put into peril the natural world in which we live. We are threatened. We're an endangered species. It's because of this process which made us eliminate somebody so natural as the Bushmen in our native country. The protective barriers we enclose ourselves in, in a demanding, noisy, fast-paced modern world, have in many ways desensitized us. Okay, okay. US, okay. Now you see it. It's vital that we allow ourselves the privilege of silent places. When I was in China, although I'd lost my toenails in the Gobi Desert and I was in physical pain every day, I had this amazing opportunity to break down the walls that I put around myself over the years. The silent places restored my soul. Moving into the silent places in a wilderness environment has changed many lives, says Ian. I can remember people writing to me 30 years after going on a wilderness trail and saying they now understood how important that experience was because it reconnected them not only to the natural world to the, but to the natural man and woman inside of themselves. In essence, we've lost our connection with nature. In order to restore the balance, we need to re-establish that connection with the earth. We have to heal ourselves if we want to heal the planet. If we continue to disregard this connection, we are in serious danger of escalating the sixth extinction, reducing this planet to a barren wasteland, not unlike what I witnessed in China. We need to remember the first principle of ecology, that everything is connected to everything else. And the wilderness experience is the spiritual spark that ignites the understanding. I believe that, yeah, that the wilderness experience is so important because that reconnects us with the natural world. And yeah, for the majority of people who have that experience, particularly if they've never ever really had a close encounter with the natural world, it is an overwhelming experience.